I'm Devin from Brownwood, Texas, and anything else would be uncivilized. So I don't normally come to St. Pete that much, but I am in St. Pete. There's a delicious coffee place here, and although I just drank a Starbucks coffee on the way here, it wouldn't be right if I didn't get another one. I'm, you know, the principles of the universe dictate that, and who am I to go against such a thing? I'm only one man. I mean, I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna go against the rules of the universe. You know what I mean? I, I follow the rules. parallel park to get here and uh i suck at parallel parking a lot of times i just decide if i got a parallel park i just say yeah i don't think i want it that bad this i'll parallel park for this that's a thing of beauty another day another dollar and by that I mean, another day, another omelet. Play the opera music. If you enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you are not already subscribed, Go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss anything. This is the Almost Daily Vlog, and we do a brand new video almost every single day. Now, today, 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 we have a pair of sneakers that I am pretty excited about. Woo, baby. Woo, baby. Nike swoosh. Nike box. Vapormax. Now, yes, these are a pair of Vapormax. Vapormax is my new favorite sneaker. Yep. I love them. And... These showed up with very little notice and they just appeared. So now it wasn't just the sneaker genie. I was just gonna talk, I was just gonna maybe try to go on a tangent about Aladdin and Genie, but it didn't quite come together. Okay, before we break these out, if you have three wishes from the genie, more wishes, mo mo wishes, and mo money, mo problems. You only need one wish, infinity wishes. There you go. So I think that's against, that's like in the clause, it's like a clause, fine print. Yeah, okay. Here they are, in my possession. One man. In the Nike box. Trying to take over the world, one step at a time. His only weapon. Drum roll, please. Bang, bang. The triple black Nike Vapor Max. Big shouts to my man Brandon Edler and all the good people over at Finish Line. They continue to bless us. They continue to share opportunities with us. And it's just been a really dope relationship between us and them that has built over the, the past few years, really. So, you know... I think I've mentioned this before, but our very first like real opportunity with this YouTube thing came from Finish Line. And um, at the time it was Brandon and another guy named Nick Engvall. They believed in us and they gave us a shot. And um, so always appreciative to them. Now, the Vapor Max, look at that, dog. If these aren't, uh, I'm like exhibit, dog. Dog, you, you, like, heard you like air bubbles, so we put air bubbles on top of your air bubbles. Yo. Yo, we put air bubbles in your air bubbles. This is, these are exotic, man. So, so spicy. spicy. So spicy. Muy caliente. Oh, muy caliente. There you go. What I think of when I see this sneaker is one thing and one thing only. What is it? I think of uh, astronauts. 
Wow. I think of something way better than astronauts. Wow. Batman. Oh, wow. This is the Batmobile. Batman, if Batman had these on, Bane would have never folded him up down there. That's if you Where, Reggie? Where, Reggie? Where, Reggie? Have you seen the picture of like a Batman? Have, I seen, Har- have I seen Harvey Dent with his face fried off? Yeah, I have. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a picture I saw on Instagram. It's like when you're Batman and you got to save Gotham, but you got to refuel first. Oh, it's like a guy. That. It's so funny. That's hilarious. Yeah, that, that's what these are. These are for when you got to save Gotham City, but you got to be comfy. Exactly. Or when you when you got to save Gotham City, but your explosion and bounce isn't quite what it once was. You know, I mean, you don't want to be trying to scale up the side of a building in front of the whole city and you fall on your back because you know you don't have the right exactly footwear. Exactly footwear. Is important for superheroes. People, people got to keep that in mind. Teamwork makes the dream work. Amen, brother. Amen. There's not too much to say about the Vapor Max. The one thing that I will say about the Vapor Max, because we can't assume everyone who's watching right now saw our other Vapor Max videos. Please, if you have a pair of Vapor Max, you owe it to yourself, you owe it to your feet, break them in. They don't feel that great right out of the box. It's not like a pair of Ultra Boost that as soon as you put your foot in it, it's like, oh, you know, the hallelujah music starts playing and the lights are beaming down from the clouds above. But when you break them in, the comfort level, although different from Boost, is just as comfortable as Boost. I promise it is. It takes a week or two to break in. And once you really break them in, you're not going to want to take them off, seriously. You know, Boost, we've talked about it before. Boost is kind of that, you know, spongier it's feel absorbent right and these are bouncy yeah i've been wearing vapor max a ton and it doesn't seem to be bottoming out at all and boost does bottom out a little bit now don't get me wrong i love boost i love boost i love adidas i love nike all right i'm not going to pick any sides i i think both are doing really dope things is this almost looks like that's got to be weight or something. Yeah, this almost feels like a felt though it does right yeah it's dope so you know you can see it's an all black sneaker but the air bubbles are not blacked out. Oh yeah, they're like, tinted. Right, they're tinted, they're not blacked out. I think if they blacked them out, it would have been, uh, it would have been maybe even cooler. But th- these are really, really dope, man, they just are. It's such a futuristic, it's such a modern looking, it's really just a badass, bold shoe. Yeah. You know, when these first came out, a lot of people hated the look of it. And now I see more and more people are kind of like, yo, they're dope. Then they're trying them on. They see they look good. They feel good. And they're getting more and more popular. The fly knit upper, the bubble. I mean, this is this is the future of air right here. And I dig it. We talked about this actually a couple months ago. I'm really excited to see what Nike does with this model. You know what I mean? What's the Vapor Max 2.0 going to look like? What's the Vapor Max? Oh, yeah. It's a really good... Uh, starting point absolutely for something that yeah. is going to be big absolutely i mean what's the vapor max 4.0 going to look like or whatever they call it but you know nike is really really on to something here so i love these my favorite new sneaker and finish line was kind enough to bless me with them so here they are buckets thinks maybe we should do a durability test let us know if that's something you want to see this is what we'll do if this video gets six thousand thumbs ups then we will do a durability test. Walk on glass. All kind of terrain. Thumbtacks. Rocks. Uh, you know, I, I might scale Everest. Maybe not Everest. But, okay. Okay. I, I, I'll, I'll walk on some uh, formidable terrains. Okay. Okay, there we go. So, that is it. And I don't have anything else to say. You don't have anything else no. to say. We will be right back here tomorrow. Buckets. Foamy. We're out of here.